Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacoby from jacobysjourneys.com. So today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome little compact stove that you can use when you're traveling, backpacking. It works great, so we're going to take it outside, test it out, and I'll show you why I recommend this for your next adventure. So over the years, I've gone through several different compact backpacking stoves that are similar to this, mostly from MSR, and they work awesome. They're really great quality. They last for a long time, but the size factor and the cost factor is something that I always take into account when I'm buying products. So this one, you know, this is a pretty mass produced product. They put lots of different name, different brands on this, but they're all basically the same. And the prices can range from about $10 up to $20, depending on the company that you buy it from. So starting off, we're gonna go ahead and just take this outside, set it up, test it out, and I'll show you some of the reasons why I think this makes an awesome option when you're traveling and backpacking. All right, so we got our stove here. We'll get, get this opened up. I just love the fact of how small this thing is. And they say this is waterproof, but you know I wouldn't count on it being waterproof necessarily. Definitely water resistant. And again, this stove is super lightweight. You can see with the case included, it weighs less than four ounces. The stove neatly tucks inside of this plastic case. On the top, it has a nice size burner that works really well. And again, it's cool because it's folded together so you release the lever there. So you'll wanna open up these four legs and then you can see on top, there's even four little feet that expand out to give the pot a more stable base. And then we're gonna take just your normal, you know, ISO butane propane mix bottle, whatever size, I'm just gonna thread it right on. It has a rubber gasket on the stove itself. So just thread it on until that's got a nice seal to it. All right, so we gotta Good seal on the stove there. And then trying to make sure it's level. That's always an important thing, right? So now just getting it started, turn the gas on just a little bit and don't put your head over it. And then give it a light. And the stove is great because it has this ignition built in, which is going to send a spark up and over once you have the gas on. You can see once you fire it up, it has a nice controllable flame, which you can keep down low or crank it up high if you really want to boil water fast. or you can turn it down really low and simmer a pot of stew if you need to. I'll turn it down. So I don't know if you can hear. This is probably one of the lowest settings you can get it on. Super low setting. It's really quiet, I can't even really hear it. All right, so we got the water on and then turn it up a bit. Also, you know, adding some kind of a lid is gonna help just boil that much faster. I heard something behind me. I don't know if it's an animal or a person. All right, so the water's heating up. So while that's going, I'm gonna get my coffee set up. So I've got my uh, GSI coffee cup. And I've got some jalapeno coffee grounds. My mom gave me this for Christmas. Thanks, mom. I'll get some of those in there. I like a strong cup of coffee, so I'm gonna put quite a bit. Now we're just waiting for this water to heat up and we will be good to go. And the stove is really great, you know, like I said, 10, $15 for this thing. The gas control itself works really well. So it looks like our water is good, so I'm gonna get this shut off. I've got our coffee here again. All right, got the coffee poured in. Got a nice cup of hot coffee here on the mountain. See how it tastes. Not bad at all. Nice and hot. Jalapeno aftertaste. Jalapeno coffee. So yeah, this stove is just awesome. I'm really impressed with how fast it cools down. I mean, literally like 30 seconds or a minute, it's basically cool to touch. So anyways, folding it back up and then unthreading it from the bottle, getting it back into the case itself. And there you go, right back into your pack and you're good to go. So as you can see, there's several reasons that make this little backpacking stove an awesome option. I'll leave a link to this in the description box down below if you wanna check it out. And any purchases through that link will help support this channel, so thank you. Thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure travel and backpacking gear review videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination.